Hey guys, what's going on? So, welcome back to Trash Tag. I'm your host, Ethan, and today we are doing more mods. But, it's not our typical car mods. We are going to be working on a big lighter. Interesting, right? Alright, let's get started. Give me just a second to set up my camera, and we'll get to it. Ah, it's falling. I swear that was just working. Alright. I assume you can see me right here. So here's what we got. We've got a typical big lighter and the only mods I know might help if I had a screwdriver to start with, huh? Nope. No screwdriver. Lighters. Okay. Now you will want to take a small screwdriver and or pliers. Pry your windshield out just a little bit. Now this is really simple to put back on. You'll just push it back together and that's good enough. Then we'll just push down over the top. I'll show you that later. Now we're taking the safety uh, mechanism off today. It's a lot easier to start without it. This is what it's going to look like. There's two little metal prongs here that hold it in. And if you just pull it straight up, it pops right off. Now, with that removed, it's going to... This piece should go right back on. There. Okay. Right? Okay. Now, why do I have one off over here? Because I was playing with this earlier. Now, I was reading something online. Probably should. I'm going to ask you, is one of these taller than the other? Maybe a little bit. I will give that some, uh, okay. So, here's what I was reading, is that if you take, put a pair of pliers on this, and turn it counterclockwise, like you're unscrewing a bowl, that it will increase the flame rate. However, they suggested like 100 to 150 turns, and that's totally bizarre compared to the old style, well, the cheaper lighters with a lever on them, where it's really easy to turn them up. I've never seen this before. I thought it was pretty interesting. So, first time trying it, and I had already turned it 25, maybe 50 times, and there is a little bit of a lighter, of a flame increase. Put our heat shield, our uh, windshield back on. And I don't know, it might be a little bit taller. So, whether or not it's true, I will let you What's your opinions? I think there's a little bit of difference there. Now, here's the next thing I saw online, and I do not agree with this, but it's worth mentioning just because what I read was if you take a th uh, thumb pin, like for a pegboard, for a cork board, message board, whatever, poke a little hole right there on an empty lighter. Note it must, you should really be empty poke a hole in there, then you take a butane refillable canister and you press against it and it fills it and then you hold your finger over it and take the thumb pin and stick back into it and it's a refillable lighter. I would not ever do that, that sounds totally awful. I've been wondering if there was ways to refill a big lighter, however, I don't think that seems safe. So, the best I can do is remove the safety lock and what's funny is, I actually have a friend that was part of the movement for the, uh, they changed, he was part of the lawsuit that changed it from child-proof to child-resistant. Because, as a child, he burnt their house down. <laughs> well, I probably shouldn't say that. Anyways. So, it's a lot easier light and flick. Flick your bit, right? Even says it right there, flickyourbick.com. Anyways, a lot easier to flick without the child safety on there, um, especially with cold hands, etc. 
So that's my mod, and I don't know. I think it actually turned a lighter up. I will try it more later, see if we can't get some excessive flame. But this is my lighter mod. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Trash Tag. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.